The U.S. Supreme Court has decided former President Donald Trump is staying on the ballot. Courts in Colorado and Illinois and election officials in Maine had tried to bar Trump from their ballots for his role in the January 6th riot. Our political editor Mark Maxwell is here to break it all down. That's right. All nine Supreme Court justices agreed states do not have the power to block a candidate from running for president. The court said states cannot abridge privileges or immunities, deprive persons of life, liberty or property without due process. It did say that states may disqualify persons holding or attempting to hold state office, but that states have no power uh, to do that with, with federal offices, especially the presidency. Even the three liberal justices wrote this, that the court must decide whether Colorado may keep a presidential candidate off the ballot on the ground that he's an oath-breaking insurrectionist. But allowing Colorado to do that would create a chaotic state-by-state -state patchwork at odds with our nation's principles. That means Trump will appear on the ballot in Illinois, Governor J.B. Pritzker said this just before the ruling came out. We're prepared to fight this battle at the ballot box. And you got to remember, we've done this twice before, and we've beaten Donald Trump in Illinois by 16 points in 2016, 17 points in 2020. Uh, he's, you know, in trouble in Illinois. We, we want him on the ballot, frankly, because he's a detriment to Republicans across the United States, but especially in Illinois. Justice Amy Coney Barrett said in her concurrence that the court has settled a politically charged issue in the volatile season of a presidential election. Now it falls to voters to settle the next chapter of Trump's story, a chapter likely to be shaded by prosecutors, judges and jurors. Tomorrow is Super Tuesday. Voters in 15 states will cast their ballots. On the GOP side, Super Tuesday could help Nikki Haley pick up some wins, or it could give former President Trump a huge step towards securing the nomination. More than 800 delegates are at stake. In Illinois, the primary is in about two weeks on Tuesday, March 19th. Early voting is already underway. In Missouri, Trump won the Republican caucuses this Saturday. Democrats can request a mail-in ballot by March 12th. Those have to be returned by March 23rd. That is the same day as in-person voting for the party.